Hey everybody, it's Carolyn. Welcome back to my channel. Good to see you. Well, what's the first thing that grabs your eye when you look at a scrapbook page? I bet it's the title. At least for me it is, unless there's a large or compelling photo that gets my attention first. But for the most part, a captivating title draws me in and it sets the stage for the layout story. Now, judging from the views on my channel, titles seem to be important to you too. In fact, my most watched video is the title block builder. Now, just thanks to all of you who have watched it and downloaded the template. I so appreciate you for doing that. I wanna help you take your title block builder to the next level. So in today's video, I'm gonna explain how you can choose fonts in design space to really give punch to your titles. We'll review the font menu in design space and its features. I'll show you how to find fonts in the design space library and upload fonts from different sources that you can use in design space. We'll experiment with different font combinations for title blocks and show how each of those different fonts can evoke different meanings and styles for your pages. Finally, I'll create a simple, straightforward title to evoke a very demure, very mindful, look and feel on a wedding layout. To access Cricut fonts, the first thing you need to do obviously is add a text box to the canvas. To do this, you just click on the text icon and then a highlighted text box appears. That means the text box is in edit mode and all you need to do is start typing to change the text. Next, I'm gonna change the font. I'll click the font drop down to open the font picker and select the font I want. As you can see, a gazillion fonts are available. Well, maybe not a gazillion, but it sure feels like it as you're scrolling. Who has time to scroll through all of that? <laughs> not me, I'm pretty sure not you too. And that's where the search parameters at the top of the font menu come in. So if you look across the top, you'll see Cricut, System, Bookmarked, and Recent. Cricut means those are the fonts that come with Design Space and they add new ones pretty frequently. You can also download some of these fonts for offline use. System fonts are the fonts that are on your computer. This is where you can add your own fonts to use in Cricut Design Space from the system fonts. Bookmarked fonts are those that you have used before and you really like and you go back to over and over again. All you have to do is click the green flag next to a particular font and it goes into your bookmark. And then you have recent, which means these are the fonts that you have recently used on a layout or project. And this tab is also very helpful. And a lot of times I might forget to bookmark a font. So I just go to recent and see what I just use, find it there and then bookmark it. The next tool you have available to you in the font dropdown is search. The search field works by typing any kind of tag or name or style or category that you can think of and see what comes up. This is sort of like, you know, a pressure luck type of thing because you don't know what Cricut's gonna send, give you, but it could be some serendipitous type of thing. I don't always use the search Field. Sometimes the results are not exactly what I want, but it is there for you in case you are looking for a specific type of font. Filter is a good tool to use because it helps to narrow your search. So you'll see that you have various filtering functions here in the menu. You can click on one of those. You can click on multiple ones at the same time and see what kind of fonts come up for you. The tabs are another filtering function, new, decorative, vintage, etc. You just scroll through those and you can see what kind of different fonts will come up for you. This is actually kind of cool if you're just if you're just in the mood to browse and see what's available. Now you'll notice that some fonts have specific information about them underneath of their name. You might see single layer or multi-layer. That means that a font has either a single layer or if it has multiple layers that you can cut. You'll also see something that says writing. Writing means that that is a font that has not only a cutting 
ability or function with it that you could also possibly use your Cricut pen with it when you see writing. Now suppose you've searched and filtered through all the fonts and still can't find anything you like. That's when you can find fonts elsewhere and use them in Cricut Design Space. You do that by adding fonts to your computer system folder so that you can access them from within Design Space. I'll show you how that works. There are plenty of places on the internet to find fonts. Some are free and others are paid. I like Creative Fabrica, Design Bundles, and So Fancy because they have fonts I know work with cutting machines like Cricut. Let's check out Creative Fabrica. I'll click Fonts in the navigation menu to see the available collections. If you're on a budget, you can also see fonts that are available under Freebies. Some fonts have glyphs. Glyphs are extra characters on a font such as accent marks or decorative letters or characters from other languages. These can also be used in design space and I'll show you how to do that in a bit. If you see a font you like, purchase and or download it to your computer. Now I'm on a Mac so what you're going to see is for Macs only. If you're on a PC, follow the instructions for adding fonts to your specific machine. To activate the font, I'm going to open font book and then I'm going to click and drag the font file to font book and then it will appear there and be installed. Then when I go into design space, I click on system fonts in the font navigation and my font should appear. Note that you're probably going to have to restart design space in order for the new font to show up in the system font menu. Now let's type something with our new font. This font has glyphs and I want to use them on my title. To do this, I'll go back into font book, find the font I want and double click to open it. Then I'll scroll in the window to locate my preferred glyph. I'll click on copy and then go back into design space and paste it into the canvas. Glyphs are a great way to add some extra flourish to your fonts. Let's look at font typefaces. Understanding typefaces will help you choose the best font combinations for your title blocks. Serif fonts are fonts with little tails on them. Sans serif fonts are fonts without the tails on them. They tend to be smooth and rounded. You can use serif and sans serifs for titles, journaling, captions, and phrases. Then you have script or handwriting fonts. These are also great for titles, captions, and phrase accents. And then finally you have display fonts and these are really the best ones for titles only. Now when you're combining fonts the easiest thing to do is to pair opposites. For example, for a classic look pair a serif font with a script font. For a modern feel, combine a sans serif font with a bold geometric font. Use a handwritten font with a fun decorative font for a whimsical touch. And finally, you can pair a delicate script font with a refined sans serif font for a sophisticated appearance. When choosing fonts, pick the best ones for your desired output. For example, when you want to cut out a font, you want medium to thick stems, strokes, ascenders, and descenders. If a font is too skinny, the Cricut blade may tear your paper as it's cutting and render your cut useless. This has happened to me many times. If you want to use a Cricut pen to draw your font, make sure you choose ones made for writing or you'll get an outline of your font on your output. If you're using a font from your computer, choose a skinny one to get the desired handwriting result. For my very demure layout, I'm pairing an elegant font with a rounded sans serif. Next, I choose the Neon Rustic Wedding Elements Printables Image Collection for understated accents around the title and layout. I used a small banner and handwritten font for the date caption. The entire look and feel is supported by a muted color palette of gray, pink, and pale green 
to help the picture stand out. With some experimentation, you can create unique title blocks just by playing around with various combinations. You can also do this with your journaling, captions, and embellishments. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to subscribe, share, and hit the bell so that you don't miss any future videos like this one. Happy scrapping.